And this is what happens in Florida. When you try to get work done in the summer, all you get is rain. Rain, 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 rain. Lots of water. Lots and lots and lots of water. Boo to the rain. moving on to deck and started placing some posts. We were able to get this line done. Not too bad in the ground. We got the piers placed for the inside wall. Kind of started placing that out, getting a feel for where they're gonna go. And got a couple holes dug over here for the big platform. That's where those post holes are gonna go. So today, I'm gonna continue working on cutting the post height for the piers, the concrete piers. Well, in order to measure the post height, I made this little jig, kind of a one-man show sometimes. So it's best to have something like this. So what it does is it's a two by six with a hanger on this side that hangs off of the backboard here. And then it's got a spacer that sits on the pool itself so that I'm gonna have the space of a two by six between, this will be the final height of the joists that will go across here. So what I have to figure out is what is the height of this uh, four by four minus the thickness of a another six by six for the basically the header board that will go across the all the four by four posts. So what I did was on the back side of this, I have a screwed in piece and we'll get to that in one second. I'm able to set a level on here right now, bubbles level, just sitting as it is. So let me move you to the other side. We'll stand this post up and I'll show you how I mark it. All right, so this is the back side. Here's the board that connects this six by six. We can stand this post up, put it into there. I know this is level. I can then get this post level and mark it. That makes sure that I know where to cut when I go over there to cut it. And I'm going around marking each post. And then as I take them down, I'll take them down one at a time, go over, cut them, bring them back, stand them up. So that's the excitement of right now. One at a time, mark them, and then we'll go cut them. All right, so I don't have a 12 inch push pull miter saw. So what I've been using is just a square, speed square, and my circular saw, which is over there right now. Basically you hold your speed square up against here and that becomes your fence for your circular saw. So once you hold that up, you can line up your blade with your cut mark and to get through a pole like this, you're gonna end up with three lines. First was the line that you marked with the jig. And then you have to transfer that over with your speed square and transfer it over to this side. What that allows you to do is to make one cut down this side about halfway through and then flip it over, make a second cut through this side to take the rest of it off. It's not the ideal way, but sometimes all you have is a circular saw and no way to get through a four, four inch post. So this is the easiest way to do it and you don't have to spend the five, six, seven hundred dollars on a saw for one project. Now if you're going to use it for other projects, it's probably worth going ahead and purchasing it. But uh, for me, I just wanted to see if I could do it with what I have so I can save my budget for the lights and uh, possible accessories for the uh, deck once everything's done. At some point I'll probably get one, but right now this is working good enough for me and uh, I don't have a problem with it. So that's what we're doing. It is now 9 a.m. I get up early and I have to sit and wait for hours until I can make noise. Now it's nine, I can make some noise. Um, I'm gonna start with making these two cuts while it's in between the sole horses and then I'll pull it out over the end, make the second cut on this side, pull it out the rest of the way, make the second cut on this side. Gives me a little bit more stability. The patio is kind of a mess. And I have Jeremy above me, which let me show you guys Jeremy. So we have these spiders. That is Jeremy. He is huge banana spider and uh, his web goes all the way down to here and it's a very, very big web. I told the kids that I think he's trying to catch hummingbirds and eat them. 
but uh, that's Jeremy. He's a uh, he's a little creepy to have above you the whole time you're working right here. But he's our buddy, and uh, we love him. So for now, he gets to stay. Surprisingly, Tammy hasn't killed him. She says that she's not gonna kill Jeremy. We'll just have to wait and see. So I gotta get my framing square that I left over here. Move some of my stuff out of the way. Then I can get to cut. Then I can go put them in place. So now I'm gonna take this one and uh, we'll test it with the jig, see if it works. When this is parallel, spot on cut every time. That's how all the posts will get cut. Then I'll be able to make my two two by six beam together, put it on here, hurricane tie downs. We're good to go. So more cutting cut. One, two, three, four more boards, posts that are measured. Then I have the corners that I need to do. I'll measure those by putting beams on these posts and measuring level over, grabbing that. So that's how I'm doing it. So far, so good. Starting to get too sunny. Got to put the hat on. All right, so this is what I did. I got a two by six and attached it here as bracing. Made sure that was level, leveled out the posts, adjusted them, then put in a cross brace here so it can't fall. Then I can connect these two and I'll just go lower, overlap, screw into there, screw into there, and then that'll give me my post all the way down the line, lined up and uh, level. So then I can put a board over to measure the height of this one. Once I measure the height of this one, measure the height of that corner, then I can snap a chalk line on these two in the middle and be able to know how high I wanna go because these are gonna end up being just a wall for a uh, for a table that's gonna end up going here. So, so that's the beginning of it. Now it's just gonna go around and connect all of them that I can. And this is what happens in Florida. When you try to get work done in the summer, all you get is rain. Rain, 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 rain. Lots of water, lots and lots and lots of water. Boo to the rain.